Midsummer, blah blah blah. Oh, farbit. Hey, maniacs! Hey, maniacs! Welcome to another spoiler-free. Mini, Mini episode. episode number 15 for the Scarecrow Murders. That's season 22, episode 2, recently released. Episode 4. Sorry, episode 4. Recently released, the Scarecrow Murders. We're going to tell yeah, you some was, things to look for. It, it was and on, we will not spoil it, we promise. It was on Acorn this week, it'll be on ITV next week. Yes. So this is set in Midsummer Langley. Yes, we've never been there before. I don't think we've ever been there before. No. Where... The church, okay, uh, specifically the church restoration fund, is trying to squeeze every living dime out of the people in the village. But but we've seen that so many times before. I don't think we've ever seen this many fundraisers going on at once in one village. I, uh, what is happening to the roofs of churches in England? Uh, vandals. Vandals. I guess. I, Those when, Well, when reverends jump off of them, they tend to do a little damage, <laughs> I guess. Not that that happens in this episode. We're not saying that. No. Remember, this is spoiler free. But there is a scarecrow competition, a ping pong competition, amongst other things that are all charity events. Look for flyers stuck everywhere for church fundraisers. Yes. So there's the soup kitchen. Yes. There's... I don't think a soup kitchen raises money. No, I don't either. No. But, okay, so explain to me how the scarecrow thing works. It starts, let's say, on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. And they go to the village green. And, and you they, get a guidebook that tells a, you where the scarecrows are around the village by okay. number. But, oh, so the scarecrows are numbered. Yes, the scarecrows oh, okay. are numbered. Okay. And then I'm guessing you, well, I know you vote on which one is your favorite. And okay. I'm guessing the, the scarecrow that wins gets a prize and the rest of the money goes to the church restoration so fund. So it works like a 50-50 draw. Right. Okay. Right. Okay, so there's scarecrows everywhere yeah. in this episode. In the back row, every... I kind of think, maybe, I'm, I'm not going to get on a high horse or anything, but I think somebody listens to this show who does stuff on that show. Oh, you think so? Because there is so <laughs> much to look at in the background. If you do, by the way, contact us. We'll yeah. put you on the show. I would not be surprised... If there was a set dresser who went, oh, huh, Mark's going to like this. <laughs> there are a number of them. I, I wouldn't be surprised, but I would be very pleased. Yep. <laughs> and that's why we start in a vintage uh, antique shop. Old Vogue. Yes. Yeah, that's why. Not on Vogue. Old Vogue. Old Vogue. Yeah. Okay. It's Rockabilly. Yeah. That jukebox was older than Rockabilly. I know. Okay. <laughs> We're going to keep this short and sweet. Yeah. First of all. Because we have a million episodes this month. First of all, note that Betty is now a giant. Yes. I was surprised to see Cully return. Oh, no. Wait. That was Betty. It's Betty. Wow. In the episodes where you don't see her and she's supposedly upstairs, I'm surprised you don't hear her stomping around. Boom, 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 boom. Because she's so big. Betty is gigantic. And she wears big rubber boots. She's off to college next week. Pretty much. I think so. So look out for Giant Betty. Yep. Of course look out for Scarecrows. Now, as we've referenced, the Scarecrows are numbered. Yes. I think the numbers are important. Well, they have to be because there is one that is clearly... Not in the series of numbers. Well, so as you watch this episode, if you can, take note of the scarecrows you see and what their numbers are and see if you can figure out a pattern to those numbers. Of course, you must exclude one scarecrow, which is scarecrow number 451,208. Most of them have two-digit numbers. That one you can't figure into your scheme. Under 20. I would be interested to know if you think there is a, a meaning to their order and if any of them are references to other episodes of Midsummer Murders. Which we think there are a couple. And and this has actually been done before. I didn't yeah. mention this to you, but this has actually been done before. There's a Peter Greenaway movie called Murder by Numbers uh -huh. that counts down from 100 to 1 right. through the whole movie. I'm not saying that's what happens no, here. it's not what happens here, but... All I'm saying is the numbers may have some meaning. Yep. 
Now, while we're on the topic of scarecrows, not all scarecrows are alike. There are yep. some that don't have numbers because they are the evil ones who live in the woods. Yeah, there were some really strange ones like that had scythes and like um, skulls for they, heads. They almost look like. They look like Halloween scarecrows. Hall like Halloween scarecrows or Grim Reapers. Mm -hmm. But of course, it makes sense. The Grim Reaper comes from that agricultural tradition, right? That's why he has a scythe, right? He's well, reaping. Well, I would be interested to know whether our listeners think that there's any kind of pattern to the creepy scarecrows. If you can guess where they are and who they belong to. Yeah, it's definite. You can also look out for a time-traveling locksmith. Now... You, he's fast. He's so fast, you might miss him. Gotta keep a wise wide open to see him. Another thing you can look out for as a maniac watching this episode of Midsummer are awesome corpse actors. That, I'm giving away okay. there's more than one murder, but man, these people went to like advanced corpse class. Yeah, taught by the guy from the field. Yeah, taught by by crop circle guy. Yeah, like a master's class. They're not in naked crop, though. In corpse acting, they're not naked. No. Well, well I'm not spoiling. No, anything. don't say that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> on the slab, they are. Yeah, I suppose. We don't know that. I guess there's a sheet. Floor is fantastic in this episode. Floor is awesome. Here's another thing you can look for. There are scarecrows, of course, all over this episode. All over. It. And who is the enemy of the scarecrow? Bird. Birds. That's what they scare crows. Right. But there are birds everywhere in this episode. There's a weird theme of birds. Inside people's houses. Not all of them. Yes. Which again, I think is purposeful. I think they're I think it's scarecrows versus birds. I definitely think you might be onto something there because there it is unmistakable when you see the birds. Yeah. So look out for the birds and who they belong to. And once you've watched the whole episode, see if you think there's some meaning to that. I think there is for sure. I Could think be. they're being real clever. Yeah. Yeah. But there's no actual birds that appear in this episode because it is way too windy. There is one. It's blue and white. It's beautiful. Remember, it's up in the air. It's gorgeous. Oh, yes, that's right. There, there is, is a bird. There is a bird. But, but it's riding wow. the winds because it's hurricane season in midsummer. This, this <laughs> was filmed in March of April of last year. Yeah. And it is the windy wind. There are at least three or four instances where the sound man would have been like, okay, I can't record any audio here. Yeah. There's police tape a flapping. Yep. Flippity flap flapping. You'll hear it if you pay close attention that they've had to re-record a lot of the audio outside. Yeah. All right. So let's summarize. If you want to watch season 22, episode four, The Scarecrow Murders, like a maniac, here are things to look out for. The numbers on the scarecrows and whether they have any meaning and other than number 451,208. And if you have a guess about that number, let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Are any of the Scarecrow's references to other episodes, and if so, which? Who is the maintainer of the creepy Scarecrow's, and where are they and why? Yep. Look out for the time-traveling locksmith. Yep. Look for awesome corpse acting. They deserve all of your yeah. attention in this the, episode. Give them a hand. Yeah. Standing applause even from home. And last but not least, birds versus Scarecrow's. Yep. And we have, we have one question that we'd like to ask you. And this has nothing to do with the plot. Okay. Okay. There is a church scene. Mm hmm And there are, like, cushions. Oh, I found the answer to that question, actually. You did? I you, did. You did? So, in the church, and again, this is not giving anything away. We're not giving anything away. There are hand-embroidered kneeling cushions so on they the are back of the pews. That's what they are. Okay. And they're made by, like, the women of the village. The women's They, they embroider them, yep. right? They're beautiful. They're very colorful. Look for them. It makes the church gorgeous to look at. Yeah. One of them has nut G on it. Nut G. N-U-T-G. Did you, did you figure out what that meant? Nut G is the Nation's Union of Townswomen's Guild. Oh. Nut G. So be on the lookout for Nut G. There's more than one reference to Nut G. I think they're like the Women's Institute, but not the Women's Institute. Maybe they're... I don't know. Enemies? Could they have fights? Yeah. 
the embroiderers versus the jelly makers. I would think that, I would pay to watch that. I would think that there are a number of ladies who are inside that Venn diagram of both of those. Who are groups. in both? Yeah. So which side do they fight on? I don't know. Where do they swing their bag? No, no. Not not jelly, not embroidery. <laughs> Let's just all sing Jerusalem and get along. I'm gonna take a stand on church flower arrangements. <laughs> Fob it! That is Scarecrow Murders, Season 22, Episode 4. Go watch it like a maniac and let us know the answers to those questions. This is releasing on Friday, and then Monday we'll have a brand new episode of the regular series, Episode 102, Murder by Magic, and then... Season 17, Episode 2. And then we have two more mini episodes to finish off Season 22, and two more episodes full-time episodes to get to <laughs> before the end of October. We're crazy. You guys are going to be we're tired insane. of hearing us. <laughs> By the end of the month, we're just going to be like... Midsummer. Uh, fob, blah, 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 blah. Fob, oh, fob. fob it. And that's this, the sound at the start. This <laughs> fobbing podcast. Too many fobbing episodes to fob and cover and fob, fobbing po podcast. Have a great day. Have a great Halloween, and we'll see you on Monday. Enjoy the Scarecrows. Bye, Maniacs. Bye, Maniacs. Okay, you're saying too much already. Yeah, you yeah. gotta cut that. Yeah. Okay. Nope, it's just a time-traveling locksmith.